going on, everybody? My you dog Ashton checking in as probably one last, um, probably the last is college football reaction of the 2021-2022 season. Uh, the All-State Sugar Bowl between Baylor Bears and the Ole Miss Rebels. Pretty much uh, just a low score game overall. Uh, it was just bad uh, missing, fortunately for Ole Miss. Uh, their starting quarterback got knocked out of the game. Uh, well, not really knocked out, but he got hurt and didn't come back. Baylor's defense has just been absolute dominant. This this absolute dominance by Baylor, eleven and two, Big Twelve champions. Glad to see Ole Miss doing good, but they'll be back. <laughs> can't believe, <laughs> can't believe uh, this is going to be the last reaction of college football. January 10th uh, will be Georgia versus Alabama National Championship. That will be a good game. Uh, Then the NHL got like two indoor games, I do believe. Last thing I knew, they probably did. Uh, just a, a win for Baylor. I just hope uh, their quarterback will become a. Uh, have a recovery and hopefully be back as. Oh, and caught. First down, Ole Miss. Just been uh, Baylor near the end. Well, uh, for bowl games, uh, Oklahoma State came back against Notre Dame to win the out. Uh, well, to win their bowl game. I believe it was the Fiesta Bowl. Outback Bowl was um, Arkansas and Penn State. I believe Arkansas won it. Where did Penn State come back? Well, cheers to Fansville, Dr. Pepper. Um, not a sponsor, but cheers to Fansville. Can't believe college football season's pretty much over. Uh, they have the Texas Bowl with the LSU and and uh, Kansas State. That will be a good game, but I got LSU winning that game. Like I said, uh, some NFL action tomorrow, too. But just crazy, crazy. Ohio State uh, defeated Utah Uwees. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, here come Ole Miss trying to get some at least points, and they got first down. Ole Miss and Baylor, I think next year they'll be good. I'm trying to let you know. Here we go, 122 to go. Oh, he's going deep. Oof, incomplete. Charlie Weiss Jr. being the new OC for the Rebels. 
Charles, who was with Wayne down in Florida, Atlanta. Oh yeah, Charlie Weiss. Yeah, I've heard of him. The former uh, New England Patriots offensive coordinator slash Notre Dame coach. I've heard of Charlie Weiss. Oh yeah, you know, former New England and. Uh, hey, definitely looks like his dad, except a lot skinnier. No offense. Worked under Nick Saban, Bill Belichick, Charlie White Sr. Yeah, his dad. Thank you. So. NFL experience, Patriots, Falcons, college experience, Alabama, Kansas, Florida, South Florida, FAU. So pretty much, uh, he's following his dad's footsteps. His dad was a decent coach, I think. For Notre Dame. And the style of attack he used at both FAU and at Alabama previously. Rango Johnson was taken off the field there, walked off, and he'll go on a practice book. So 116 to go in the Sugar Bowl game. And we're winding down towards this final game, and it's going to be a heck of a celebration. Baylor, congratulations. I love the, I hope uh, Texas becomes good. Maybe maybe this maybe next year will be Texas. Uh, you just show them haters, you know. Hey, we are gonna be good. We're just young. Look out and sack. The Bears defense just dominant. Nine sacks. Nine. <laughs> there we go. So, so here we go. Yeah, Bama, Georgia, national championship. Oof. January 10th. Yeah. Oh, and another sack. Ten sacks for Baylor's defense. Congratulations, Baylor. Yeah, Primo ain't over. So, Baylor will become your Sugar Bowl winners. Uh, good game to Ole Miss. They'll be back. Ole Miss will be back. I know that we're back. So, hats off. College football season. It was a great one. It was a crazy one. All right, everybody, that is that. The final score, Baylor Bears 21, Ole Miss Rebels 7 on this last college football reaction. Peace out. Enjoy the video.